I'm Pat Gunn, and we are playing Skyrim. So before we get started, I should note that I have installed three new mods into my setup. One is called Jusargo Combat Improvement, and it's designed to stop my uh, faithful companion Jusargo from just using sparks in combat, because that's kind of stupid. Um, another is called uh, Altered Fist, and it uh, adds um, some new spells uh, that improve unarmed combat. I don't expect to be using that uh, in this uh, playthrough, but you will notice it. And the other one is called Dynamic Spells, which causes more of the spells in the game to scale up as you level up. I'm not sure how much of an effect that's going to have in the game, but we will find out. So, we have a few things to sell. Okay. So that all looks pretty good, and he doesn't have any weapons that I particularly uh, want to buy. It would be great if we found some enchanted boots, because right now Remember, there's not a lot we can do with boots. So we're going to run up and check with the Jarl and see if we have done enough favors for the people of, um, of Riften for her to let me buy a house, because I'm very keen to buy a house here. Now, if she's not uh, happy with what we've done so far, then we're going to have to see what other things we can do. Someone who can... I've been informed by my steward that you've made much like me. As the Jarl of Riften, I, before I get a thane of Rift, my steward has sucked. When the house is yours, great. Turn to me. Looks like we've done enough. As Riften's steward, splendid. There's so I've bought a house, and now it's kind of important when you get a house what would you like to, to add the useful stuff to it. So I'm going to add an alchemy table, an enchanting lab. Some of these other things, like a garden, if I remember correctly, that actually adds uh, it adds um, some pickable alchemy stuff. And might as well buy everything. I'm proud of my new house in Riften. No, that is enough for now. So we're going to go visit our new house. No, you didn't. Of course not. Uh, is she... Looks like she likes us, so she's gonna let us take some of her ingredients. Whoops. Oh, sorry. What do you need, my friend? Okay, she just took it from us and did not report us. Well, that's good. And we can sell this staff because we definitely don't need it. We don't actually need the house decorating guide. I've played the game enough that I kind of know what I can do there. Okay. So, let's also check to see if... Actually, we have our own alchemy outfit now and our own enchanting outfit. So we don't need to actually keep on returning to uh, the Jarl's palace for uh, either of those. Plus we get a free source of, uh, source of ingredients, which is definitely a plus. So let's go head over to our new home. What? And this is it. It's a pretty cool home. Actually, we're going to pop over here and grab some of the stuff outside. Because some of this will get us closer to our quest. Oh, we have chickens! Hi, chicken! Chickens are awesome. They're also awesome in real life. Unfortunately, in real life, they're not a pet where you really can uh, just have one. They're, uh, they tend to be pretty unhappy unless you have a bunch of them. Like, I, I would suggest 
if you're thinking about getting chickens because of how awesome they are, you'd probably want to get like at least five or six. Because otherwise they'll get really lonely and unhappy. Anyhow, let's go inside. And this is our house. And all the furnishing that I did has been effective. Now again, like many of the areas in, uh, in the game, stuff will be, uh, will be eventually refilled if you uh, take it. So go ahead and get as much uh, of the stuff from here if you, uh, as you like. And you don't need to worry about stealing because it's actually all yours. Sweet rolls! Now the game does feature marriage. I don't, uh, I don't actually ever do that. And part of that is just I think it'd be kind of weird to, uh, be a little bit weird to get married in a game when you're going to be gone so much and possibly uh, dying pretty soon. So it just doesn't seem particularly fair to, uh, to treat a partner that way. That's kind of dark in here. Let's brighten things up a bit. And yep, this is your bed. And there are three bits of storage, or actually four. There's um, a place for clothes over here. And there's a chest uh, over here, which is empty now. And there's an end table. Let's empty all three of these out because we're actually going to use them. So I always put clothes in here. So, whoop, don't need that circlet and that accidentally unequipped our helmet. So we'll put the circlet and necklace, another necklace, lots of necklaces, and any weapons that we want to keep but don't want to lug around, uh, we'll put those in here. And uh, normally I keep crafting stuff in one of these and I keep uh, alchemy stuff in the other. But we have some more alchemy to do before we leave, so let's head down. Now this is uh, cool. There are some recipes that give you some, uh, some pieces of paper with recipes on them that will give you uh, hints as to what you can... Um, what combinations do what? I just realized I forgot to start my timer. So I will start it now. There we go. And uh, yeah, so and of course there's these free, uh, free ingredients. So again, take as much as you can here because it, I believe it'll recharge, or I mean refill. And if it doesn't, that is fine because we, uh, we're going to be dropping stuff off in this house throughout the rest of the game. Free potions. Sweet. And so every so often we'll be coming back here, scooping all the alchemy ingredients out of our, uh, out of our chest and uh, seeing what new things we can craft. Whoops. Whoa. Okay. Schools are not particularly useful, or at least I don't think they are. Sweet, skill book for enchanting. A little bit more. And a mushroom. <coughs> <clears throat> soul gem. Now these mannequins are kind of fun. If you, oh, here's a grand soul gem. Those are spiffy. So yeah, you can put, um, you can interact with the mannequins just as if they were a follower and give them gear and they'll put it on. And so you can kind of see what your outfit is going to look like. And back here there is 
Nothing. Okay, I'm not sure if this room is supposed to be useless or if there's uh, something I'm supposed to do there. Doesn't really matter. Oh, and yeah, when you interact with the bookshelf, you can just put books in there. So if you really want to decorate, uh, you can do that. Let's uh, let's see if there's any ingredients I've picked up that I haven't learned yet, and then we are going to do a little bit of alchemy before we head out. <coughs> Not going to use fire salts. I think frost salts. Uh, we've finished the quest that needs them, so we can start using them in alchemy now. <coughs> Need Nightshade and Nurn Root for quests. So earlier on I mentioned that some fish, they're just food, and other fish, they're alchemy. That fish that I just uh, just nibbled on, uh, that's an alchemy uh, type fish. Uh, let's see, restoring health is always important. Let's... Elves here and a creep cluster. No, that didn't teach us anything. Damage health is generally a useful thing to poison your, your bows with. Let's try these three things. No, that didn't teach us anything. Damage magicka can be useful, but sweet damage magicka regen, that's a plus. Again, we are focusing on trying ingredients for things where we only know a subset. So like Sprig and Sat, we only know one effect. Hanging Moss, uh, we only know two. So let's try these two. Nope. Image Stamina. So we'll try a Giant's Toe, Bone Meal, and Blister Ward. Nope. Well, valiant effort. Okay. Um, well, can try all three of these. No, nothing that interesting. Fortunately, we are making few potions that I hope will be uh, useful to to sell for a good amount of, of uh, funds. Okay, here we have sweet another effect, and this is worth 146, so it's pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, terms of value, but we aren't really going for value at this point in the game. We're mainly focusing on trying to learn as many effects as we can. Moon sugar and frost salts, worth a shot. Sweet! It's a lot, a lot more effects. And um, we'll try a scaly Salt and Jazz Bay. Okay. And Dwarven Oil. <coughs> Scaly. Yeah, just those two. Okay, that's looking good. Actually, we probably should have looked at um, looked at those ingredients. Or, I'm sorry, those recipes before doing this. But oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty. So we're going to come up here and drop our uh, alchemy ingredients in the end table. Except for the alchemy ingredients that we are uh, we intend to, or that are part of quests, because it is nice to have a progress bar for those. <clears throat> and we won't really know how close we're getting to being done with those quests unless we keep uh, them on us. So let's keep putting everything away, except for Nightshade and Nurnroot, which are used for quests. Ah, getting lots of, uh...
And unfortunately, we just kind of need to get used to this process of putting stuff away because every time we come back and want to do some more alchemy, we're going to grab everything out of there. So here, I'm intending to drop off anything that is going to be used for smithing. Whoops, I need flawless amulet, uh, amethysts. It's part of a... Oh, shoot. I picked up everything. So these things happen, but you need to... Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> okay, soul gems, don't need the ingots, do need this amethyst, the garnets can all be put away. I tend to keep soul gems with me because sometimes I enchant when I'm on, on the go. And we do have some junk here that we're probably just going to drop outside. And the rest of the stuff... Yeah. So, we are done here. Well, actually... I hear you found some. Just had to go on your hands so much room to carry things. Oh yeah, so we're going to grab our cogs. Eventually, uh, you are going to need ten. Uh, he doesn't need that goofy shield, which is unfortunate because it's good for a laugh. But such is life. We follow that. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll put the cogs in here. Man, this is an exciting let's play, isn't it? And we will put squeaky shield in here and we are done and here we're actually going to use the uh, secondary exit yeah so we're down to 128 pounds which is looking good might, might not actually be pounds because it seems a little bit absurd that I'm carrying around uh, by default uh, up to 300 pounds of equipment and 375 with my uh, belt <coughs> Maybe these are tenths of pounds or some other weight unit that's specific to the uh, in-game world. Doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, so these are dragon priests. You will occasionally bump into them. They are pretty nasty. Okay. So what were we, were we going to do? So we have a, a bunch of quests open to us. Um, we do have to be careful not to take on more than we can handle. I think we can probably handle this quest, which is useful for advancing the College of Winterhold uh, quest line. So it's a little bit to the east of Whiterun. It's kind of near the... Uh, Ritual Stone or Golden Rock here. We'll do Golden Rock so that we can learn uh, Valtime uh, Towers. Which is a little bit north. I don't remember what's there, but I do like filling in my map. <coughs> so I think this is a Daedric Shield. It's a heavy shield, and it's pretty strong. But I'm not doing the heavy armor uh, set of uh, skills, so I'll never have one. <coughs> okay, north. We want to go north. And let's just double check. Yeah, so the castle that's uh, north and a little bit west is where we're going. But, uh, Valtheim Towers is a little bit northeast. And it would be nice to be able to, uh, to learn that on the way. So, we're going to do that. Up there, I think, is a giant camp. Or something. Yeah, well, we'll leave, uh, leave the giants alone this time. And 
slide down here and aha I remember this Oop. and somehow we've started combat with a troll hello troll I'm hoping that we can handle uh, trolls at this point let's uh, find out Trolls seem to be pretty tough. Let's see if I can knock him down a little bit. Oh, did not mean to knock him down that much. That might actually uh, kill him. Yeah, that, I think that killed him. But it also made enough noise that it uh, alarmed some of my uh, some of the people in that tower down there. But if I duck a little bit, they'll forget me. And there's a nice ore vein here for ore column. And ore column is used for uh, orc gear. And it's one of the more expensive ores in the game, so I like to pick it up when I see it. And, oh, there's a little bit more of it here. Man, I'm really making this an exciting uh, Let's Play. It's kind of cool that if you give your familiar a torch, or not familiar, your um, companion a torch, or follower, follower, that they'll uh, light up the area for you. Let's see what is going on. Now we do know that there are some creatures down there that are inclined to be my foe because when we knock the troll down um, we saw a bunch of red dots so we're going to want to be careful here and see what is going on there's pro oh there's the dead troll we're going to just shoot an arrow to draw the attention of our enemies. I think I saw down there there was somebody who ran inside when my arrow hit and she will be coming back out when she calms down or he and I will be able to gift her with an arrow. <clears throat> I don't want to wait forever. So let's keep on scooting down the mountain. I hope Jazargo will find a safe way down that won't involve a plummet. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, looks like he did, which is good. And actually, I will try soul trapping her with the black soul that I have. Okay. I'll put my shield on. And, oh, Jazargo took care of her for me. Great. So I will loot her body. And that is looking good. So let's actually see, do we have any more black souls? No, we just have one and it's full. Now it is of grand size. All, uh, if you kill any intelligent being, it's it's a grand soul. We can drop our tankards too. No, no use for that. And we can loot the uh, troll, which we killed in one of the cheapest ways possible. We're going to scoot forward now and head through this bandit camp. Now this bandit camp is kind of handy because it goes um, goes over the river. Now you can see this chest has a line coming out of it. It's actually trapped. Fortunately you can unlock the uh, the trap and then whatever the, the trap would do, looks like there's a spiked ball up there. It won't do it when you open it. I hear something. Somebody's talking. Can't quite hear what they're saying. But it's good enough that I know that they're here. None of these clothes are particularly valuable, not worth looting. 
Okay, so we're going to tiptoe up. Okay, there is somebody. Let's see if we can. No. Oh, Chisargo. He ruined my chance for stealth. Oh well. Seems like Jazargo is really keen to go and take care of that stuff, so let's see if he can actually do that for me. Well, no. I'd feel guilty letting him take care of everything. Okay, block that. Whoa! Okay. That did not end well. So these bandits have magical weapons, and I have suffered another embarrassing defeat. How could you die in a let's play? Let's try that again. Oh, we're all with, all the way back here. Well, This has not been the most dignified way to meet those bandits. And actually, I suppose the problem has been at least partly that I've been letting Jazargo dictate my playstyle. He'll just charge in. He's wearing heavy armor, he's naturally more aggressive. I generally tend to play a more uh, sneaky uh, game than uh, than he does. So what I should do is not ignore him, nor oh, and there are the giants. I, I shouldn't ignore him, but I also probably shouldn't um, shouldn't be super keen to. Uh, oh, and I think that is probably the troll. I want unrelenting force, certainly. Oh, and the troll is chasing something. What are you doing? Oh, you're chasing a goat. Ha 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 So, where was that... Or a column. It was right up there, right up around here somewhere. Oh well. I don't want to spend too much time looking for it, after all. But I will. I'll just head down here and see if I can do a little bit better this time. Okay, the bandit has already spotted me. Fortunately, I'm not sure if that mod actually did what I expected it to. Jazargo is still using sparks. Let's see if this is a safe drop down. It's not looking that good. Oh, okay, well. I made it. Okay, can pick some more flowers. But I am hearing arrows rain down, so that is probably a sign that I am not in the clear.
I think I might have hit that guy. And he is not being an amazing archer. Oh, is Jutargo all the way? Wow, uh, he's really a lot more aggressive than I am. He already ran all the way up to the top. Oh, whoops. Was not careful this time, but I will step back and avoid the trap anyhow. Oh, they're doing anti-cat slurs. That will not stand, guys. Not classy. Oh, did I? No, not quite. Thought I might have knocked her off the uh, the ledge, which is always fun. Oh! And I'm taking some pretty good damage here. Poison my weapon and. Drink some healing potions, maybe a little bit more healing potionage. So this is the chief, so it makes sense for her to be, uh... For her to be tougher... Whoa! Oh, that, that was funny. I think she fell down. I'm not sure how far she fell down. But it is welcome that she is down somewhere. Where did she go? Did she fall to her death? This might be her axe. But where's her bot? Oh yeah, she fell to her death. Okay, I think the lesson uh, of this is when you fight on narrow ledges above above a long fall, accidents happen. It's not like the movies. And it is not like video games, except when it happens in video games. You are putting your life in your hands. Now, let's see, did I loot? I did not finish looting here. Hope Jazar goes okay. Kinda wish that you could yell out in this game. Like, yo, companion, you okay? Although I think I hear him clinking. Oh, so we must have killed this guy from afar. Okay, Jisargo is okay because he has followed us up. That's good. More bandits. Okay, another bow. Although that bow did not look as healthy as it probably should be, because it was staying in the bent position. As far as I know for bows, if they can do that without some uh, someone continually pulling on them, that's a sign that they're bro uh, broken. That's a pickaxe. So we've crossed over the river. And we are checking out this stuff. None of these are skill books. Now that doesn't always mean in Skyrim that they're unimportant. So it can help to just eyeball them and try and learn what the important uh, spell books are to, uh, to grab, despite them not being skill books. But ordinarily, this mod saves you a lot of uh, trouble. Okay. And is there another chest or anything up here? Yes. A very nice looking chest. Oh, orcish armor. Sweet. That might actually be better than what Jisarko is wearing right now. I'll have to, uh, to check up on that the next time we get to town. Skill book for archery. That's good. Wine and a potion. And more wine. So the beds, I'm kind of curious what a bed like that, whether it would actually be comfortable. Straw would probably be kind of itchy, but maybe people at the time got used to it. Uh, 
bit of cheese, and a and an elven bow. I think, unfortunately, that elven bow has an enchantment that I, I don't know on it, and so I'm probably going to have to use it for that. Now, where am I going now? I am heading northwest. Northwest, I think, is this northwest? East, north is probably somewhere under there. West, so it's that direction. But yeah, maybe the people at the time do... Oh, well, some iron ore. It's not as good as ore column, but... I am not going to complain. Maybe people at the time just got used to uh, itchy living or something. How are we doing on pod? 319F, 375. So we're actually getting kind of full. So what we might do, just make it to where we're going, fast travel back to a town, and then sell our stuff and fast travel back. Let's see, where's a path that actually heads up there? Well... We'll try walking around for a little bit. Oh, conundrum ore. And yes, I do know that it's not conundrum. It's corundum. But okay. Let's see if we can make it up this. Almost. So close, come on. Come on, yes. There is a deer. And yes, I could kill the deer and skin it, but I'm not going to do that. Make sure I'm actually going the right way. Yeah, I guess so. I just it seemed to be a lot quicker to head north than it was than it is uh, being to head west. Although maybe I, I misjudged the difference from the map. Okay, and this is where we want to be. Unfortunately, this is a fairly difficult area, so we are going to save and break it off here. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.